Good morning, Eclectnistas. It is Friday, December 4th, and your girl is up. I am up. I've been up. I'm always up, at least by 8 o'clock. Always, because my alarm goes off. So, I'm up. And it doesn't go off in literally until I actually act like I'm awoke. Now, I'm going to get up, get my life right and I'm about to get out in the streets and get some Christmas shopping done. And I need to go back to Big Lots and take these lights back because this husband of mine, he changed his mind. He don't want blue lights now. Now he want white. So I'm gonna go change that out. And I'm probably gonna go hit up Freehold Mall so that I can hit up the Ulta store because I need to pick up maybe just a few things. Like I need another banana powder. I think I need you know we don't need nothing but i do need another banana powder so i'm gonna go pick that up and i'm gonna stop by the mac store because i need another mineralized powder so my stuff generally lasts for a while so i'd be kind of good in that department for a good little while because i don't use a lot of that type of product you feel me so rocky has been outside worrying me to death and i just found my earring in the house up looking for this because I was praying to God Rocky didn't eat it. I just said, yeah, I was praying to God Rocky didn't eat it. So I found my earring. Now I'm gonna get dressed and get ready for the day. I'm gonna have me a little breakfast, a light breakfast, and that is going to consist of a protein shake, a yogurt, some fruit, and some oolong tea. Mm -hmm. So, I'll catch y'all in a little bit, okay? getting dressed and I'm talking to my mama right and I'm telling her I made her hair appointment to get her hair cut when she comes and I was asking her when she come because I know Miss Laura cannot do like a whole lot of walking and y'all know New York City is you 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 gotta have your walking game on so I wasn't trying to like take them too far you know Penn Station the train station to maybe um to go see the Statue of Liberty and then possibly see the Empire State Building. And she talking about, she ain't trying to get on no water. Or get on no water to go see the Statue of Liberty. How you think you gonna see it? She's just, I'm just nervous. This is my look that I was giving her through the phone. She don't even know it, so I'm gonna show her. Ma, this is the look I was giving you. Really? Really? It's a fairy. It ain't a mass of water. It's the ferry. Then I said, um, the Empire State Building, she talking about she ain't trying to be climbing no stairs. Hey, Rose, I'm gonna need you to get with the times. This Empire State Building is too damn big and too tall to be walking upstairs. You catch the elevator. Oh, my gosh. My mama is tripping, y'all. She tripping. Now, she do want to go see the 9-11 um, memorial. And I'm definitely going to take her to go see that. But she tripping about the ferry in, in an elevator? I'm going to need her to get with the times. Now, let me get back to getting dressed so I can get on at this dope for Jay to get home. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Alright y'all, I am standing out the door letting Rocky go use the bathroom before I get ready to leave. And as you can see, I am dressed for the day now. I have on this psychedelic 70s inspired top. And I have on this vintage suede 
uh, what is this a vest and it has a matching skirt midi skirt and I haven't decided if I'm gonna do booties or pumps or boots I haven't decided I got my coat sitting on the on the thing this is the same bun that y'all saw earlier no need to mess with a bun if it's already in place and yeah so I'm just feeling real cranberry-ish today real cranberry-ish and I filmed a shop my closet because I told y'all my next thrift haul I was going to actually do a lookbook and I have the stuff ready to do the lookbook it's just that if my camera girl ain't here I can't who gonna film it you feel me I could put it on the the thing but that's not live and living color to me so tomorrow I probably will do the thrift haul but I actually will do the look book because Jada's out of school tomorrow I need it to be at least Jada or James to do the filming when I'm doing a look book so but I did film a thrift haul today not a thrift haul I filmed a shop my closet haul and I'm just showing y'all a bunch of tops and vests and like some some of my favorite like two pieces and this is one of them that I actually have on so I didn't do a fashion type video this week so I just decided to do another shop my closet until tomorrow I can do a thrift haul you feel me so let me get in these streets come on Rocky now if I left his ass outside and he froze to death when I got back, I ain't gonna lie, I would be very, very sad, I'd be hurt, I, it would crush me. Rocky is a family member. He is literally my child. And I need him to get his ass in his house before he, uh, free. It's not cold, it's like 52 degrees outside. It's not cold, not to me. I, I think I have been climatized over the years. And yeah, I take coats with me. I don't necessarily walk out the house with them on. But I take them with me for when the weather drops when it gets dark. So I'm waiting on little Jada now because she gets out of school early today. And all next week for some reason. I don't understand the Jersey school system. I don't. But I'm waiting on her so I can take her to get her nails done. So while I'm getting my her nail while she getting her nails done, then I can be like running next door to big lots and stuff and doing what I got to do. So we will see y'all in a few. All right, y'all. Went to call and make Jada an appointment for her to get her nails done. They booked. And yeah, y'all know how that is. If you don't have an appointment and you just walk in and it's Friday, that's not gonna happen. And for somebody who on punishment, yeah, Steph ain't in the mood to be doing all of that. She got money and she needs to get them filled because I don't want them popping off. However, I'm waiting for Miss Stallone to get off. I'm sitting here listening to this love playlist on Spotify, and I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Can't wait for him to get home. I don't know, I already caught, well, no, he called me, and he asked me what I was up to. He went to a retirement ceremony today, and he was, like, feeling like, you know, I guess a little emotional, because, you know, not that he's close to retirement, however, you know, he you knows it's gonna happen, like, within the next 10 years. It's just like, I guess he feeling some kind of way. However, we were just talking about how to enjoy life. And we got to enjoy life for the moment. I mean, like this week with people, we've lost family, a family member in the past two weeks. And then with all the, you know, you might as well call them terrorist attacks. With all of these things happening in California and the other one that happened the other day. And then... It's just, y'all, I don't watch the news. I don't watch the news because it's so freaking depressing. Granted, the news is something that you probably should be watching just due to keep you abreast with what's going on in America, but I can't watch it because it's a mood killer, like, for real. And we were just talking about that, and he was just saying that, you know, he happy that we live life, and we live it like if it was our last. And I told him, I said, that's what I've been talking about. That's what I've even been thinking about all this week is that you have to cherish the moments that you have like right now. And you really can't let nothing go to waste because what if you never wake up again? 
you know i'm pretty sure you know those people that lost their lives you know in california they got up that morning to go to work and they could have they knew that they were coming back home or they would be back home later that night and look what happened so it's like you gotta let people know you love them and like really y'all y'all we gotta make sure our house is in order like for real i i know my spirit and my soul is good with god and that piece right there that's one thing i'm not worried about stephanie you don't lie stephanie you don't have any integrity issues i'm not um have nothing to be ashamed of you know something you know you don't want to think about it however it's a part of life if we're living death is also a part of life so it's just me and him just was remin we're not reminiscing but we was just having a discussion just about living life to its to its fullest and you know yeah so tonight we're gonna go on a date night and we're just gonna embellish in each other's love that's what we're gonna do and have some great conversation and some great dialogue so i may be tuning y'all out early today because i told y'all I am just really trying to stay committed to that when I'm spending quality time with my family, period, I'm not on social media. And if that includes vlogging as well, I ain't gonna vlog. So, yeah, maybe tune in out with y'all right now. Just due to the simple fact that I want it to be about my man when I see him. Because y'all had a Jill Scott in the back, in the background. Yeah, Stephanie feeling a little wifely I'm a wife every day however I'm just feeling a little exceptionally wifely right now so he told me to be home in an hour I'm about to purchase these tickets and we're about to go check out Hunger Games and I guess that's when we'll hit big lots because once Jada's appointment wasn't done I'm like okay I can go run some small errands right quick however if I'm gonna be driving where we going to the movie theater and we're gonna go have dinner tonight. I might as well wait on him. So he can get what the hell he wants. And I'll have to go back to Big Lots again. I hate returning shit, y'all. I hate it. That's why I make sure I'm committed when I buy it. Cause I hate returning stuff. For real. All right. Currently, it is five o'clock. And all of a sudden, I just feel like I got the chills, like for real. I got the chills and my head is hurting a little bit and I'm just starting to feel a little achy. Like, where, where did that just come from? So, my little romantic evening and date night that I was about to adventure on just got a rain check. So, I just texted my husband and told him that um, I'm about to de-glam. I already got my comfy clothes on and I'm gonna lay down in the bed because all of a sudden I'm just cold. I know it's some funk going around, so yeah, I'm gonna start taking me something because the kid can't afford to get sick. Just can't. That got killed real quick, right? Real quick. Oh, just wanted to let y'all know I started a Snapchat today. A Snapchat. We'll see how this goes because Jada was showing me how to use it and I did like three snaps. Why do I feel like I'm in a living color? Two snaps up. Like why do I just feel like that just now? I don't know. I don't know. However, this one last right here, I done put that shit on like twice today. Okay, once in the car and when I did my makeup. And now you know what, I'm about to pop this shit off. So now I don't have to worry about taking them off, putting it back on, cause ain't no need in putting it back on cause I'm finna get in the bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. And now plans have changed and I'm finna use this Amazon stick and we're about to cuddle up and watch movies in the bed when Mr. Long gets home and just chill. That's why I'm ending this vlog right now. And it's only 5.19. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? Good night. Y'all, look, this shit is perfect. The heater is right on Rocky. Rocky's got chills too, so yeah. I'm gonna help my mama out and have to keep her warm. Good night.
these little dogs better go away though, Mommy. Don't bring your dogs by me. Don't bring your dogs by me. Don't bring them. Good night, y'all.